Steve King here for CanadianBodybuildingRadio.com. Today I'm here with my uh, fellow co-host, uh, Ron Partlow, and we, we are eight weeks out from the CBBF 2009 Canadian Nationals. So Ron, where are we training at today? Uh, well, this is the home gym. This is Hardcore Gym um, in Edmonton, Alberta, uh, Canada, for those of you who don't know uh, the Edmonton, Alberta geography. But um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's been around since about 1998, and I've been training there since about 2004, 2003. So, um, you know, it's home home to me. I spend, you know, two or three hours there pretty much every single day. So um, it's just a good, basic, hardcore gym. Uh, you know, uh, everyone everyone leaves leaves the bodybuilders alone, and we, we get we get to do our work and uh, do our thing. And, you know, there's a bit of sweating and a bit of grunting goes on, and it's all okay. So... It sure beats training at the, you know, the, the big chains and the, the clubs and stuff, so. Right on. And who's this guy who you're training with? Um, this is uh, my training partner, um, Forrest Javins. Um, started training with him a couple years ago, it's a year and a half ago. Uh, he actually hired me to help him uh, get ready for a bodybuilding show. And um, he asked if he could train with me for a week just to, you know, kind of learn some tips on form and, and how to structure the workouts and and see if his intensity was up to par and uh things went so well we just kind of kept training together and uh next thing you knew um you know we were full-blown training partners so i've been training with Forrest a while and you know our schedules match up really well and uh we we're both uh just over six feet tall so uh, you know that also helps because we like the same exercises and we don't have to change things a lot and and then it also helps that he's really strong too so um you know uh we don't you know we don't have to take a lot of weights off stuff you know i'm not that strong for a big guy and he's super strong for a, a 220 pounder so <laughs> it evens out <laughs> yeah my next question was how much more do you weigh this guy uh well i was 330 in the off season so uh and that's while he was dieting for 100 pounds <laughs> yeah he, he was he, he dieted i think he competed at around 190 this year so for a little while there i had uh you know, quite a bit of weight on him, uh, you know, 200 and, or 130 pounds on him for a while. So, um, I but, guess as but long as he yeah. trains intense, it doesn't matter. Yeah, anymore. yeah, I could train with anybody as long as they train hard, you know, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's all about focus and, you know, he puts the headphones on and, and he, he, he gets down to business. So, Cool, cool. So we're eight weeks out in this video. Uh, what are you weighing in this video? Um, well, I think uh, it was about 285. Uh, to about 285 at eight weeks out. Okay. Is um, that the leanest you've been at eight weeks out? Y- yeah, pr- yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much. Um, definitely, uh, things are definitely different this year. The body's getting leaner in a different way, uh, which is kind of interesting to watch. So, um, you know, excited, definitely excited. So, um, do you think that change in your uh, in your physique has a lot to do with your diet this year? I know you're dieting with uh, somebody new this year. Um, yeah, well, I'm working with Chad Nichols this year, and. Uh, um, you, you know, I, I pretty much did my own off season. I mean, I only started working with Chad with about four or five weeks left uh, in the off season. So, um, you know, I just uh, really focused on improving certain areas, thickening up the back, and and getting my my limbs to fill out. Um, you know, chest and shoulders and stuff like that has never been an issue for me. It's been, you know, covering the back, lower lats. Uh, and then, you know, getting the quad sweep out and the arms big enough. So that was a focus this year. Um, you know, I just kind of let the body weight go up. And it was 315 when I hooked up with Chad. And um, and I figured I'd need about 20 weeks to diet. <laughs> but Chad looked at my pictures and he goes, no, no, we got time for five more weeks off season. So we kept That's pushing. News. Yeah, yeah. I was a little <laughs> nervous to do a 15-week diet. Um, he actually wanted to do a 12-week diet. But, um, wow. you know, he figured with... Uh, you know, with how I'm kind of used to longer diets, it might, it might make me a little bit stressed out at the end. So um, we went with a 15-week diet, and, you know, the, he pulls the weight off fast. He doesn't mess around. So, you know, uh, from 330 to 285, and, and basically, uh, you know, what would that be, seven weeks as, as far as this video is concerned. Um, so, yeah, everything's going really good. Cool. Is there any reason why you made the switch with Chad or just to kind of change things up a little? Or? Um, well, you know, uh, he's got a lot of experience working mm-hmm. with really big guys. Um, and I don't just mean, you know, muscle big, but big frames, you know, and being six foot, uh, just over six foot, you know, I, 
you know, he's worked with Gunter and he's worked with, you know, I guess Dennis Wolf is almost six feet tall and a lot of guys like that. So I, I just thought, you know, plus, you know, I, I competed against Fuad back in 06 and, and I've seen what he's done with Fuad, you know, the two years before that and then now the, the two the two or three years after that. So, um, you know, I, I know he knows his stuff and, and I always got along well with him whenever we chatted and uh, just was curious. I just always wanted to work with him and. So, uh, you know, this, I figured this was the, the year I was going to go for it. So, um, you know, I was, I was really happy with everything before that. Um, you know, most of you know I, I did work with Scott Abel for, for four or five years. And, I mean, uh, the, you know, the guy knows his stuff. Um, you know, I just wanted to try something different for my physique and, uh, and you know, take a few different approaches with things. That was all. But, um, yeah, it's just it's been been a, a an exciting experience, which I think was you know something I needed was just something new. Right, right. So look, just looking at your training here now, you look like you train um, really really strict form. Uh, you said you don't you use real heavy weight. Um, I guess some people would argue that you know bent over rows with 160 pounds, you know, third or fourth exercise in your back workout is pretty still pretty heavy, but uh, you still manage to keep your strict form. Has anything changed? over the last well how many years have you been training now well i've been training for 18 years 18 um, years yeah. so how does your training compare like how have you evolved your training uh well you know when i was young i mean i started when i was 14 so you know obviously you know you you, you think it's all about how much weight's on the bar and, and right. you know you push the big heavy weights i mean if i think about like you know the most i ever deadlifted and the most i ever squatted and the most i ever benched you know those numbers were all from back when i was you know 19 20 21 years old um but you know, I I, uh, I just feel like I get more out of movements when I when I really put the focus on the muscle and the stretch and squeeze and um, you know leave the ego at the door and and that was something I learned working with Scott. You know, I'm I always kind of knew that, but you know Scott really made me um, you know dial back on a lot of weights and uh, especially for things like back because um, you know I got such long levers and. And I think it's easier for me to lose focus off the muscle with long arms. So, you know, I mean, if you look at this exercise here, this is something that Forrest and I got off, uh, I think, an old Jay Cutler video. Stole from Jay. Um, yeah, stole from Jay, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're going to improve your back, you know, look what Jay did with his back over the years. But, it, you know, you look at the range of motion I'm getting, you know, I'm bending right over the bench, letting the shoulder blades come out. And, Just a real stretch you and know, squeeze. I think there's only like 120 pounds <clears throat> on that cable, which, uh, I mean, is really light in your hands. But um, when you go to squeeze it all the way back, you, you know, that's where it gets tough. So, um yeah, just quality reps, quality contractions, taking the target muscle to failure. You know, just because the bar stops moving doesn't mean you've actually hit real failure. You know, a lot of guys train too heavy and, you know, they do their six or seven or eight reps and the bar stops moving so they think they've trained to failure. But the target muscle still has something in it, you know. So uh, right. you, you got to put it on the, on the target muscle so that uh, that's why the bar stops moving, you know. Right. Okay, last question here before we end it. Um... Nationals. This year is your ninth. Ninth nationals. Ninth nationals. You've won 2007. You won the super heavies. You've been top three. I don't know how many times. Well, I've never been out of the top five. You've never been out of the top five. <laughs> been in nine second years. four times. Okay, I'm gonna say then. Let's assume that you're the uh, number one ranked bodybuilder going into this. Um, any predictions this year? Um, yeah, I've never ever been this confident. Uh, never ever been this uh, excited about the show and. I've uh, never slept this well and, and been this calm. Uh, I am, you know, going there for one thing only. Like, there's absolutely nothing I'm, I want to come home with other than the overall. Um, that's the only thing I'm going for. So, um, you know, I, I'm not thinking about anybody else. You know, people ask, oh, who's your competition this year? And I'm like, you know, uh, you know, I don't, when I say nobody's my competition, I don't mean that as an insult to anybody. I just mean that I don't even care who's coming. I, I, you know, I think I only know of two or three other super heavyweights that are going to be there and there's probably going to wind up being 15 guys. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just going for it. It's like, I'm the only person that I, I care, care about when I think about the show, you know, so, you know, good luck to everybody, but you know, this is the year where I've never been this focused before. Well, there you go, folks. You heard it here on CanadianBodybuildingRadio.com. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll follow up with Ron, get more training videos up as the show gets closer. Ron, thanks for showing up today and, uh, Good luck with the rest of your training. Yeah, thanks a lot, Steve.